In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm angelic, beloved in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, how are And I'd like to share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short of reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Saturday, 15th March 2024. The readings are taken from Jeremiah 11, 18-20, Psalm 7, 2-3, 9-12, and John 7, 40-52. The theme of the reflection is how to handle your persecutors. How to handle your persecutors. The first reading says, The Lord revealed it to me. I was warned. O oh Lord, that was when you opened my eyes to the eye scheming. I, for my part, was like, like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let us destroy the tree in its strength. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, Lord of hosts, who pronounce the just sentence, who probe the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. And the gospel says, several people had been listening, several people who had been listening to Jesus said, Surely he must be a prophet, he must be the prophet. And some said, he is the Christ. But others said, would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not scripture say that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem? So the people could not agree about him. Some would have liked to arrest him, but no one actually laid hands on him. The police went back to the chief priest. And Pharisees who said to them, Why haven't you brought him? The police replied, There has never been anybody who spoke like him. So the Pharisees answered, You have been led astray as well? Have any of the authorities believed in him? Any of the Pharisees? This rabble knows nothing about the law. They are damned. One of, uh, one of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier said to them, But surely the Lord does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about. To this they answered, Are you a Galilean too? Go into the matter and see for yourself. Prophets do not come out of Galilee. Beloved, in the first reading, Jesus received a rev uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah received a revelation of how his enemies were plotting to destroy him so that people will easily forget of him. He was like an innocent lamb being led to the slaughterhouse to be killed. How did Jeremiah handle his persecutors who were trying to kill him? All he did was to remain innocent. He tried to remain innocent and to pray. He committed his cause to the Lord, the Lord of hosts, who probes the loins and hearts and judges justly to give to all what they deserve. In other words, Jeremiah believed that Judgment or vengeance is God's because it is only God who knows what is in the heart of everyone and it is only God who is almighty. If he does not allow anything, it will not happen. So in order not to take the place of God and judge wrongly, he allowed God to judge and reward each one as he pleases. What happened to Jeremiah is fulfilled in Jesus according to the gospel. The leaders of Israel, the Israelites, have been tracking Jesus and putting him to the test so that he will make a mistake and they will capitalize on that to kill him. But they tried and tried and failed. Eventually, they sent police to arrest him, but they too could not arrest him since they could find nothing. They could find no reason 
to use to arrest him. On the other hand, the ordinary people, some of them believed that Jesus was the prophet or the Christ. This shows that Jesus handled his persecutors by maintaining his innocence and by committing his cause to God, just like Jeremiah did. Even Nicodemus, who was one of the elders, argued that they were trying to treat Jesus unjustly. And their response shows that they were really trying to treat him unjustly since they claimed that he was born in Galilee when in fact Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea and he even has a divine origin which they refused to accept. And since Jesus maintained his innocence and committed his cause to God, they could not destroy him. They could not destroy him until God allowed it for a greater good. They could not do anything to him until God allowed it for a greater good. Yes. Therefore, the best way to handle our persecutors is to commit our cause to God and pray for the grace to remain innocent. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be able to remain innocent and commit your cause to the Lord in times of persecution. In the name of Jesus, your persecutors will never be able to overcome you. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing or discussing this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.